हेलो माय नेम इज सिद्धार्थ वार्डे एंड दिस इज यूनिटी यूनिटी एडवांस मैट वन आंसर सेक्स सो द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज व्हाट इज टाइम नॉट डेल्ट टाइम वेयर शुड वी यूज दिस इज इट अ गुड थिंग टू यूज दिस फॉर पॉजिंग और अनपॉजिंग द गेम जस्टिफाई द आंसर ओके सो व्हाट इज टाइम नॉट डेल्ट टाइम टाइम नॉट डेल्ट टाइम इज द टाइम बिटवीन टाइम बिटवीन टू फ्रेम्स ओके सो it's a uh, like a time difference of two frames or how much time did uh, you know like uh, what is it how much time it took from uh, to like uh, loading the last frame to the current frame right so like it's a difference between two frames it's a time difference between two frames in a very short so uh it can be you know like uh, let's say if your pc is running on 60 fps then it can be one div- uh, one divided by 60 or if your pc is running on 80 fps then it will it will be one divided by 80 it will not be constant because like uh, <coughs> some frames can take longer and some frames can take uh, you know lesser time to uh, lesser time so like uh, that's the thing like uh, it that's why it differentiates but the uh, it defines the frame rate right so uh, that's the thing and uh, where should we use this uh, we use this mostly to make our code frame rate independent <coughs> so let's say like if there is any timer going on in our scene or uh, you know like player is moving or enemy is moving so their movement should be synced without uh, the frame rate right so let's say like my pc is running on 60 fps and if i am moving one unit a uh, frame then like in update so it will move 60 frames uh, in second right so uh, and if my pc is running on 30 fps then uh, that 60 meter distance will become 30 meter right so that's a big like uh, that's a uh, kind of mess for uh, the player that 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 have a low end pc so for that we if we multiply it by time dot delta time so what happens is like uh, uh in 60 fps my frame rate uh, my character will move one uh, one meter in 60 frames and uh, in 30 fps like it will do the same but like uh, it will move uh, like you know like uh, the same uh, like the 60 uh, yes it will move the six, uh, 60 meters but it's you ju- just in one frame so like the each frame the movement speed of the character will be increased because it, uh, the value of time dot delta time get in uh, uh, yes it gets increased yes uh, is it a good thing to use this for pausing or unpausing the game uh, i don't sure i'm not sure i that i don't understand this question exactly is it a good thing to use this for pausing or unpausing the game because like i don't uh, like we cannot change the time uh, no, delta times value it is just you know like the property that we can get uh, in the time class so we cannot change it so like uh, if we are trying to pausing the game using it it's, no there is not even possible but uh, yes like if we are using it in our moment code or you know like a uh, uh, timer code or you know anything anywhere so if we pause the game the time to delta time will be uh, like the value of time to delta time will be zero so our movement of our character or enemy or you know the timer will stop so that's the entire answer i guess second question is prefab use case and why we use prefabs right so prefabs are nothing but a game object entire game object that we store as an asset file so uh like you know that's the only uh, that's the on- that's the be- uh, prefab right uh, the entire game object saved as an asset file that we can use or uh, like reuse in multiple scenes multiple places in uh, multiple times in a single scene so like uh, that's the thing so what happens is like uh, let's say i created a tree and i to, uh, made it uh, the color of its leaf uh, yellow and later on i decide that no it shouldn't be yellow uh, it should be green and i'm using 100 of 100 uh, tree in each level and there are 100 levels so like there are 10000 trees right i cannot go to each and every tree and change the co- color of their leaf so uh, what i can do is like i can 
store that tree as in uh, prefab then you use that prefab and whenever i change the tree's color in prefab it will change in everywhere it will change everywhere like in every scene and every instance of in uh, like in all the hundred instance of uh, each scene right then why we use prefab the that's what i said like uh, to reuse our asset in multiple multiple times in multiple ways because we know like this asset is going to be same whenever i am using it so like let's say there are enemies there are four types of enemies we can create four types of prefab out of those enemies and we know that there are only four types of enemies currently in my game and only this four types of enemy will get spawned so like we store them as an asset file to use them in multiple place uh, like you know multiple times in a single scene and even in like uh, multiple scenes so that's the answer thank you i guess